Hi, I'm going to show you Wedbin, a tool to help you see what you're placing in the Wed editor for Xplane on an actual Bing map. So I'll open Wedbin, and as you see, it will in turn open a browser for you to browse the standard map plugin. You can see this is a list of the uh, custom sceneries you have in your Xplane folder, and I can just click just try a few different custom sceneries, including the built-in one. Okay, so I'll close that down and I'll change over to WED. And what I'll do in WED is uh, create a brand new custom scenery, but I'm going to base it on an existing airport. Uh, this one will be Land's End uh, in the toe of England. So that's created. I'll just show you where that's created inside of X-Plane. It's inside the custom scenery. And there it is. And the list in WED is just the list we see here. So if I rename this one to give it the proper iCal, you'll see that it's also done the same renaming back in WED. So let's open this and import from the scenery gateway. We can see, once this is found, yes, uh, Wedbot, so no one else has edited this yet. So we know this is a completely flat airport, there'll be no 3D scenery on this. Now, it's not in the ocean, I promise, but uh, as far as we know, with wet as it is at the moment, you can't see the ground underneath. So I'm going to save this to make sure there's a file on the disk. And now I'm going to have to quit Wedbing at the moment. Uh, in the future, hopefully, we won't have to quit it. And we have to quit it and restart it so it'll pick up the new airport. So if we just wait for this to restart. And here it is. So now, when we look in our list of airports, we will see, hopefully, Land's End. There it is, and, well, there it is, at the end of the land. Let's zoom in. A terrible purple cast there from Bing, thank you very much. Let's uh, zoom in a bit further, I think, see if that clears. And yes, it does. Okay, so I'm not going to zoom in too far, see what the default 17 gives me, and press the Go button. It's downloaded the tiles. And now we can swap back to WED. And the method we use here, if I just do a selection to make sure the menu options there, yes, is revert to saved. Or you could have closed and loaded it. I'll give you a warning saying you might lose data. Please do make sure you have saved before you go to WED Bing. But now we're back here, we've reverted, and look, you can see each square represents the tile at zoom level 17. And we have the airport. So let's take a look at what zoom level 17 gives us. Quite pixelated, not too good. It's good enough to place things roughly though. If you wanted to stick with zoom level 17, you can. But there's only a tiny part of uh, detail on this airport, so I think it's probably worth trying a uh, higher zoom level. Let's zoom back to Wedbing. And now let's just uh, position ourselves over the actual airport where the buildings will be, zoom in. And uh, what we see here should be what's translated to WED, which is why we zoom here. So we just want this area. We'll pick 20 and press the Go button. Now I fast forward this because this did take about a minute or so. Now I have to confess, I'm showing you here on the video zoom level 20, but actually I went back and put zoom level 19 in because the zoom level 20, there were no tiles. It all looked white. So, I've cheated a bit. So we, what we will see is zoom level 19. Now let's just, we're looking at zoom level 17 here, so let's revert to the new web file. There, just the area we were zoomed in on, and we have much better detail now. So that shows you you can move between web and web Bing freely. You don't have to do it once. Um, you can just pick on small areas of the airport at a time. So now all that's left to do is put the objects in the right place, 
and upload back to the airport scenery gateway.